So today we're going to cover the flat dumbbell bench press with a two to three second pause at the bottom of each rep. Um, it's a great exercise to utilize. You find that you have to use lower weights to do it, but it allows you to focus a lot more on your technique. Um, and I find a lot of gym users rarely take a dumbbell press for its full range of motion. They usually stop about four, three or four inches off the chest, and then really take it through that full range of motion. So they don't, they're not really maximizing their potential to get gains throughout the exercise. What's great about it is that you can use more time under tension in the range of motion that you're most likely going to be weakest on. If you never really go through that range of motion and you spend more time there, you're going to expect growth to come from it. By pausing at the bottom of the movement, it allows you to eliminate the stretch reflex and initiate each rep with the intended muscles. So you're going to get a lot more gain from those repetitions as opposed to just using momentum to get you through. Pausing also allows you to really focus on keeping your scapula retracted and working on the endurance of those muscles and stay contracted for a long period of time. And it also teaches you to keep braced for a long period of time as well, which is going to really carry over to when you start to do bench presses with heavy weight. When you practice this movement and practice any kind of benching or um, pressing movement, you want to have your elbows tucked like a powerlifter would. By keeping your elbows tucked, you're going to reduce the chances of getting a shoulder injury. Um, and when you're spending two to three seconds pause in the bottom position, you're going to find that if you have your elbows flared, it's going to, it's going to cause some sort of issue for your shoulders. There was a study conducted by a guy called Jagasar. Uh, his thesis was assess recreational lifters during the bench press with flared elbows out at 90 degrees of duction and elbows tucked at 70 degrees of duction. And he noticed that there was no difference in, uh, in recruitment of the, of the muscles for the chest. Um, so there is really no reason why you should be having your elbows out wide um, flared because you're just keep increasing the chance of getting injury um, with no viable muscle gain. So in summary, the flat dumbbell bench press with two to three second pause is going to force you to use lighter weights, which is going to save your joints. It's going to allow you to focus on using the correct movement pattern, as there's not going to be any momentum there, which is going to change the trajectory when you start pressing back up. It's also going to be very good for learning to maintain a retracted scapula when you're pressing. And it's also going to teach you as well to initiate the movement with the correct muscles as opposed to using momentum. So a lot of people just kind of slingshot out of the bottom position and just use whatever muscle possible to get it back up. Um, doing it strictly like this is going to allow you to use the proper muscles, build them up over time and you'll become a lot stronger from that. Um, it's also going to increase your strength off of the chest in the bench press. But as a different exercise, it's going to have some carryover, so it's going to increase your strength off of the chest. Um, this is going to be due to just added time in that position itself. Because if you're someone who uh, only does tap and go bench press or when you're dumbbell press and come all the way down, you're not spending a lot of time during your repetitions in that uh, in that portion of the rep. So by spending more time in that portion of the rep, you're going to become a lot more proficient at that portion of the range of motion. You're also going to find that there's going to be a lack of a stretch reflex aiding in your pressing as well, so it's going to be all you as opposed to the stretch reflex. Again, which means the weight has to come down, but over time you can build it back up a lot quicker. Um, and also your upper back positioning under load is going to become tighter because you're going to get used to holding that position for longer, which can only benefit you. Another plus to using lighter weight on this exercise is that it's going to allow you to be really explosive on the concentric. Uh, you can be as explosive as possible, which is going to have some carryover when you start to go to heavier weights on your bench press. And lastly, and most importantly, it's going to lengthen the length of, lengthen the length of your sets. So it's going to make your sets that probably only take, usually for the average person, probably 25, 20 to 25 seconds. By adding those extra three seconds per rep, by having a static pause, you're going to increase your time under tension to 40, 50 seconds, maybe 60 seconds, which is going to lead to greater hypertrophy, hypertrophy over time. So there's a lot of benefits to using this exercise. 
So if you're not someone who puts this into your routine and you fancy something a bit different, give it a try. If you've got to the point where you're at a gym and you're at the heaviest weights possible and you, you know, you're tied into a 12 month contract or whatever and you can't go anywhere else, another reason for you to give this a try, you can make lighter weights feel heavy and get benefits out of using lighter weights and then not have to tax your joints too much. A great supplementary exercise as well if you're a power lifter um, and you've already got your bench and stuff in there and you don't want to fry your CNS with more heavy pressing, um, it's a good way to keep things fresh. So yeah, give it a try, let me know how it goes for you, leave us a comment in the section if you do give it a try. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.